find the Lucid Jason. And I'm not going to review this spin off as series or season that focuses on the player in the Gungale online since it's really interesting. So let's not say that. I mean, this is the third season for Sora Online, and uh, once again, Kirito gets caught in a or stuck in a virtual world. And for it, he got uh, stuck in it, he's actually uh, testing the new system that the world it, the, is in called uh, the Soul Translator. And he's a kid in a when he, when he first says see it see him. And has two friends, Alice and Yujio. Um when the Alice was uh, touched her finger from a uh, this line separating the human colony with the dark territory, the two sides of the uh, the world that they're in. She gets taken by a Tegri knight. Basically uh their nights to make sure that the rules of the taboo index are followed and that's to protect the human world human parts of the world. Yeah so the church takes just uh, took over part of the world. Yeah that's a bad time. And the, and according to Kirito when you get out of the uh, the virtual world by using this soul translator, you actually have to get your experiences in there. And um, when he and Ozna are talking to Xenon, she's inviting them to the next uh, BOB, which is uh, uh, doing uh, like a uh, team around the tank. Um, the boat, uh, except. And also, I actually got a pink lightsaber in the GTO, so good. And for some reason, she has an app on her phone that sells her at Kirito's heart, 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 heart rate. I don't know if she's trying to make sure that Kirito isn't cheating on her, or just trying to be romantic. So. Anyway, after reading, reading the the bar, or it could be yeah, gay girls on or something. Like that. Yeah, gay girl. Uh, Kirito tells us that I think going to America to study uh, the new uh, virtual devices that are coming out, and ask him if she wants to go with him. And Donny Black shows up, the last remaining member of the Black and Coffee. And he gets in a fight with Kirito and injects him. It starts over poison. And Kirito wakes up in the um, underworld, which is the first world he was already in. And as he meets Yuji again, but they both don't remember each other. And apparently, uh, in the world, get these uh, jobs called callings. And you're supposed to do it till uh, your uh, duty is uh, f is finished, and then you get to pick a different calling. And the uh, usual calling is the top down to set tree that's been around for about seven generations, I think. And call it Gigas Tree, which feeds off the uh, power from other trees or something. Oh yeah, I heard that Alex had a sister named uh, Sil Silla, or Silka. Yeah, I don't know what's with the uh, Reki Kawahari and using similar names of uh, char user characters with past ones. Or what's with the uh, Funimation and having the characters have the same face or hairstyle. And we uh, eventually, uh, Kirito and Yuyo leave at uh, the uh, village they're in after saving Silka from these goblins. And 
the usual shiny finally able to cut down uh, the Gigas tree and you uh Kyotasi takes the bark to make a to make a sword out of um Kyoto become Yujo's mentor when he decides the next one is a uh, a knight or a swordsman. I think it's swordsman, yeah. And uh, episode five is how they it just gulks and dissolves that what Ozma is going through and when she and she and on here that Kirito might have a a physical or mental uh problem at, at some point if he doesn't if he does uh, wake up from his comments and his poison is doing that much damage to him. It's just a, a good scene. I don't know, just it's upsetting. And Keith Koka turns up that saying that uh, he ha probably has the technology or he knows of a hospital that has the technology to uh, save Kirito since the doctor that uh, was uh, taking care of Kirito is saying he might need some MRI scans and the hospital they're in doesn't have the equipment for it since uh, he doesn't know how bad the poison is uh, infecting Kirito. But when uh Osna seeing on and I'm not seeing on uh the Sugu uh and uh, his, her mom try to visit Kirito the hustle and let him for some reason. And they just get a bit fishy so the Osna calls on some of the other uh, girls and they just try to say uh, Figure out what's going on with the hospital and with the company that Kirito was uh, doing part time job at uh, work with the uh, rats. And Kalan has to give them, a, give, uh, them a ride. And uh, uh, Yui does uh, give Osmond some uh, pet talk when they think they hit a dead end when they. Find out that a helicopter probably bought Kirito to some other part of the country or some other uh, other country or whatever. And turns out they're right since uh, Kikwoda has brought Kirito to this uh, Japanese base called the uh, Turtle, I think it's called. Mm. And uh, also, as you can contact it. Uh, Kaiba's assistant slash uh, girlfriend. I don't know Kira to actually met her when he uh, first got the world seed. Yeah, I don't know the retcon that since I think at the last episode of the first season he said he showed it to get uh, egg yolk. But anyway, but. Mm. And uh, also uh, described herself as. Uh, Hide his girlfriend's assistant, and um, that's why he talks. He that way he quotes it to be scared. Yeah. Um, they think they're, they're safe, and they're able to, uh, well, mostly cure cure to at some point. But eventually, they get get attacked by uh, some unknown force and. Death use a, a EMP to knock out some of the power, including the the power that has a here those a, a life a life luster or something, and it was connected to the a soul translator. I also in a underworld the times faster. There, so Yuji and Kirito is have been there for. Two, been together for two years and they actually gone to the academy and then they, they got arrested for killing another student which was uh, just doing things to uh, two of their pupils I guess some do I don't know why they keep doing or so these so far on, on uh, the show and I was uh, 15 but Still, and that's the final. Who's an integrity knight? 
I don't recognize them. And they escape and they slowly realize that they're taking like the memories have been that changed by the ruler of this world named that Quinetta. Yeah, apparently she's the AI that knows she's the AI and she's just power hungry, has a god complex, sleeps a lot, and likes being naked in front of people. Yeah, they cover her up with some hair, but you know, you're, you, you know she's naked. I'd like to meet another uh, program known as Cardinal who uh, possessed a human girl. And the thing where the Kirito is giving her a hug, it's kind of sweet. And, uh, and I find it kind of funny that uh, Kirito is just annoyed that he has to uh, fight up the open the floors again. Or Cardinal saying that. Uh, uh, Quinella's room is on the 100th floor, but the uh, acting shirt is getting get bigger every few years. I uh, don't know. And, not, and the flights with some other uh, Italian lights are good. And, uh, let's see, um, oh yeah, and the part when uh, Kirko kept calling Alice said, eh, it's just hilarious to me. I don't know. And they're just they're just hanging hanging off a a wall with Kiro having his uh, sword embedded. And I don't know why I was in think of what to do if he was ever in this situation since he seems kinda of scared. And like kinda of like that when uh these uh, demons for from the dark territory attack Kiro has to Try to run in Alice up in the air to get her up to the pedestal in the tower. And she's doing the same thing and just getting out later on. <laughs> yeah, uh, am I funny? Mm. Anyway, uh, eventually Yu Gi Oh! Uh, gets to uh, Quinella's room. I'm about to start her with this uh, uh, pen, pen knife or something. Yeah, uh, Karamasi gave Yujo and the uh, Kirito uh, these uh, knives I've been able to send to whoever gets uh, stabbing them to her not. And Yujo and I, Yugi, uh, Kirito actually used it on the female integrity knight to try and save her. Oh yeah, there's these, there's these two uh, little girl uh, apprentice integrity knights that. Uh, Try to take care of you, don't care about himself, like poison them. But Kirito already knew that they're gonna get poisoned with this, did this spell to counteract that. I like it. Hmm. Anyway, when Kirito gets to Quinella's room, he just starts playing on his mind and his emotions and messing with his memories by using the oldest trick in the book for a. a, a Nipped a bag person, getting, getting them to think that their best friend is in love, is, uh, in love with the girl he likes and, and she likes the other friend. That's the old trick of the book, but still good and it gets uh, Yu Gi Oh under her uh, power and, and that. And that's a creepy clown as her second in command. I did it pervy when it when it comes to her. But ugh. And I'm kinda and I'm glad that as they you know, nearly killed him because he just got back alive at some point. And Kira to fight Yu Gi Oh, but yeah, we get him back and yeah, see, the three of us find out what kind of plan is. He's gotta let kinda let the you race die but first he's gotta turn about half or a quarter of them into living knives or living swords that's called the uh, sword golem it's all messed up and uh eventually just down to Kirito and Quimbella and Kirito they get uh, some 
power boosts when usual reminds them that they met for his kids and death he combined uh, both their swords as a as a blood red sword or something. Since uh, Yuyo's one is called a blue rose sword. And once again clear those dual dual wield and as he turned into the SAO gear. And I'd say the last uh, fight between the two was good and just um Yuzo dies, spoiler, was emotional and hard actually guys welcome this out um uh, a uh, spy name uh Charlotte Yeah, a lot of death this. <laughs> and Kiro's finding it finding it in contact with the real world when he finds the thing that Quinella had to uh, add this uh, mole in round, I think, as you mentioned, this other uh, guy from the outside world, and able to hear be, hearing the, the thing being attacked when, when the EMP went off a light, just came through and he's seeing all of these fat balls. And uh, and there, I'd say this uh, season is good. Yes, yeah, there's a lot of talking and a lot of fighting, but it's not, it's not like a Christopher Nolan movie and not talk for sake. A talk, talking because of plot and just trying to get, get the audience to catch up when they uh, usually just explain what he and, and uh, Kiro did in the past two years. And Yuzo was a good character. He seemed very uh, timid, quiet, and didn't have that much uh, confidence in himself. And he says still hurt of the loss of Alice and feels responsible for it. And Quinella just uses that to turn him into one of her knights. And Kiro seems more laid back. And this and does does have a lot of some jokes. And do like that they have their own uh, like a uh, sword skills in this for their own uh, swords. And I kinda like a uh, Kirito's uh, name for his sword, Night Sky Sword. It's kinda good. And uh, that amazing goal cool. music was great and that they have Osna doing something in uh, the real world of Kirito. Is an underworld, so. Mm -hmm. And, uh. Alice, uh, I think that's better in the next, uh, see, next, uh. Part of season 3. So that's, that's next week. And I think a uh, Cardinal was a good, uh. Antithesis to Quinella, since, like Hero said, she has her own wants and desires and she also wants to destroy the underworld for some reason and it turned out that that was the plan of wrath to make these uh, virtual living souls to turn into like a soldier for combat. Why is it when, it, when it's scientists play god they always want to make them into like soldiers or something? Like they even have robot bodies to pull them in. And I know that the guy in the computer for Raft explained that he had a buddy that died in war and he was on a tank he was on to make sure that nobody else's friend died, but uh, I don't know. Oh yeah, Kaiba's uh, girlfriend, the part when she, where she's like uh, asleep in one of the uh, rooms in the floating turtle thing and actually sees Kaiba. Was I see him or was just a madman? Because he also showed up when uh, his uh, teacher was uh, doing his plan as well. I don't know. Um, I'll say again, a uh, good series and it continues on with the uh, sword on Lucy Jason Ward Underworld. And the second half of that didn't come until uh, April, so. Mm -hmm. And that's it. I'm soup. See you guys later.